Mas não é uma série não. O que é que você faz em What have you gathered from your investigation? Uh, thank you very much. Yes, my name is uh, Assistant Division Officer Grade 1, Bernard Nyemite, the acting commander for Asuka uh, Fire Station. Uh, what happened was that yesterday around 10.22 uh, thereabouts, we had a distress call from STC that there has been a fire at STC. So quickly uh, our men rushed here and then uh, because there was no traffic around that time, we got here very fast. And indeed, when we got here, we also realized that uh, buses belonging to Ayalolo that had been parked uh, on the premises of STC were involved in fire. So we had to quickly cut the spread of fire to the other buses because it was a fleet of buses that they have parked here. So we needed to quickly cut the spread and then make sure that the fire doesn't get to the other buses that had not been involved with the fire. So we did that quickly and also quickly managed the other four buses that were already on the fire. So that was what happened briefly yesterday here. So from your initial investigations, what have you gathered? Yesterday, unfortunately, we launched the investigation yesterday, but we couldn't get any uh, thing that would lead us to the cause of the fire. That is why we are here this morning to make sure that we get to the bottom of uh, what might have happened to bring about the fire. So we are here this morning to talk to one or two people that were here when the fire started and also pick some vital information from the damaged vehicles to make sure that we get to the cause of the fire. So, um, as you can see behind us, the buses uh, with these registration numbers, uh, GS1563016, GT549617, GS51318, and then GS511818. Um, it caught fire yesterday night and then 
the fire service were called in from Chiapache to come and quench the fire. As of now, the fire service are still um, carrying out their uh, exercise to see what actually happened to got to get the buses bent to that state. So we are yet to receive their reports, and then officially to from here we are going to report to the police station for the for the police to also know that, and then we will carry out to report to the coordinating director to let the coordinating director also know that what has happened here, and then we'll, we'll also send a report to the Ministry of Transport to officially inform them that this is the situation at the Kumase uh, terminal concerning the Adishie buses, that four of them has uh, been in fire. So is it likely that it could affect the operations of the parallel uh, buses within the region? Um, the buses here in Kumase is called Adishie buses, and it wouldn't affect it in any way. The buses are 60, and then four of them have been affected. Actively, we are using 50, so the other 50 are still on the road, and it's helping. But these buses, were they active, or the four? Um, no, slightly. Um, some of them had uh, terminal issues, uh, engine, a bit of them, so they were being, they, they've been packed and they were being attended to, and this didn't happen. So what is the long-term plan? looking at what has happened? Well, actually, I think we, the management is going to sit down to increase the security around the buses so that any suspicious characters can easily be seen and then future situations of this can be averted. Although investigations have just begun, but do you suspect passing? Um, we are waiting for reports. We can't say that uh, there were arson or any other thing. We just want to be sure so that we don't point uh, wrong fingers at anybody.